And welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to the last episode of this crazy game. We're going to be starting the last session. And already off the bat, you can session. What do you mean by session? Uh, we're going to figure it out, I guess. Here we go. But we're going to watch the intro one more time. Slayer, you're lucky I don't ban you for mentioning that right now. But welcome to the stream. It doesn't look, it doesn't look like the Cubs are going to make it. Freaking Grand Slam. The... I think that's enough of that for now. Okay, what? You're quite fond of the show, aren't you? Oh my god. Is this literally a Stranger Things type of thing going on? Okay, come on. Let's get you down to the observation room. Um. Mm -hmm. Oh no. Oh boy. What? This place must be starting to feel like home to you. Mm hmm. Don't worry. Try and get you out of here eventually. I'm just in here. Okay. Are we through in the next room? Just relax and we'll get started in a moment. Uh, yeah, we are in a wheelchair, Kali. And uh, we're in a hospital. <laughs> what is this? This is the help thing right here. Keep going, you have to. Read what they said. Give up, a coward. Sometimes you do things. Sometimes those things are wrong. Get out, get out, get out of the car. Get out, get out, get out, get out. Oh, read what they say. I guess they're subtitles. Interesting. All right, Mr. Asian, now are you ready? We are made Mr. Asian. Take record on the tape deck in front of you when you're ready. Are we? Are we ready, ladies and gentlemen? Are we? Doesn't look like we can do anything else. So, um. This is subject 12198623, new session entry. We have myself, Dr. Alexander, leading, and in the room we have our patient, Mr. James Asian. As we know, James has recently recovered from a two week coma following his accident. In our last three sessions, James's attempts to recollect events of the accident seen him merging his memory with his imagination. These episodes have always ended in panic, and we've had to terminate the session abruptly. Let's try and do this one better, James. So when you're ready, let's bring this back. Let's bring this I back. I know how difficult this must be, but you can do this. James, it's time to remember. Your mind, it's like a conscious black box. Show you your memories. Look into it. Whoa. The walls are bleeding, I think. So before we go any further. Um Chewie, welcome to the stream, by the way. <laughs> um So you're telling me the last three things, it's like we were just simply trying to tell them what happened, but we just kept mixing up our imagination. So we're kind of crazy. Almost in a sense. Um, you didn't want to say before, but the GCS 
they were talking about in the station process stands for the Glasgow Coma Scale. Oh. You know, I did see, like, it was, it was all darked out or blacked out. I was like, what the hell? I'm sure that's going to mean something, you know? And even when it mentioned the various things about the scale, it says, like, open the commands and vocal stuff. I'm like, what the hell does that mean? I should have looked it up right there, but I probably don't spoil things. So, this is them doing the number puzzles with us, huh? And there's only one signal there. So wait a minute, 20F, that was the guy in the caravan or whatever, right? That That's us? Or is that or is that the distressed guy telling us to look at... Or I, no, never mind, I think I'm thinking too much into this. Um, report. Oops. Press the wrong button. Let's take a look. I actually want to take a look at that microfilm now, all the way at the, at the bottom there. Uh... Uh oh. What'd I do? Jeez, I thought I broke it for a second. I'm like, oh no. <laughs> Alright. Whoa. What? Police department, road traffic accident. Oh, 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 hold, hold on. We need, we're reading this. Report of traffic accident. Police use only, blah, blah, blah. Number of vehicles, two. Uh, time of accident was March something. No, 86, 1986, March 20th, 1986, at 22.05, that's the damn time on the, on the clock. Accident location, Pleasant Hill Forest Road. The sister Jennifer had pictures of, of Forest Road in her freaking thing. Okay. 20F. Could be 20 years old female, fatal accident. One injured. Deceased, I'm sure it's going to be one. Uh, what? Va ugh, driver's street address, Wayview Drive, Pewter Bridge. I'm not sure if that was brought up anywhere. Uh, oops. Hold on. Oh, I totally missed this. Are the driver's name is us? James uh, is James Ashian or whatever his name was. Injured. The license number. Oh, 
Olson, Posca, blah, blah. Date of birth. White station wagon. The passenger, we assume, is Jennifer. Everything is blacked out, though. And here's the other dude, Charles Hennings, who died. Blue sedan. Doesn't look like he didn't have a passenger. So here we go. Arrived on scene to discover two cars that had been involved in a near head on collision. Uh, he was found lying down outside his vehicle with head injuries. An ambulance was immediately called. His badger was trapped in the vehicle in critical condition from wounds sustained in the collision. The driver of the blue sedan, Mr. Headings, was found dead on arrival. It was notified that there was a strong smell of whiskey from the driver and an empty whiskey bottle on the passenger seat. Uh, he was questioned on scene. He described an oncoming blue sedan being clearly out of control, which he swerved to avoid. His passenger was his sister. The driver of the blue sedan is an ex-police officer of, thir of 20 years. Drunk driving. There's what three things, uh, or three things, uh, circled. Empty whiskey and out of control. Was it, is it James that was on those drunk or the other guy? He said he was questioned on scene though. Hmm. Empty whiskey and then. the signal James listen to the voices you have to face it James finally wait a minute searching audio archive one are you talking about NS1 was the officer not like it at all i've worked with officer henning for six years and not once have we even talked about alcohol drunk driving he, he was a father a husband he was fine no way he caused this it's him this haitian guy he's got something to hide so wait, they're blaming me still i mean i understand he's an officer he, he's he wants to protect his coworker, or whatever. But he was drunk driving, dude. This uh, this doesn't make sense to anybody. No, yeah, he he is an ex officer, the 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 drunk driver, the one who died. He he was an ex officer. Okay, hold on a minute before I before I do that. Did I actually try clicking on the handle? Yes, I did. Okay. I got no flashlight. You step out into the hospital ward only it seems abandoned. Your vision is blurry. This is where we were doing our or doing our interview right now.
they're all locked. Sometimes they make you watch your past sessions to see what really happened. Uh <clears throat> Yeah, Mill Tank, I will um I really hope you're making a really, really bad joke right now. Oh! Okay, they didn't lie, but the whole tensing up part, because I sure as hell did. The way having your hand. Wait a minute. Why do I get the feeling like we're tr we're playing as the officer right now? Think about it. He's blurry. They're talking about um um imagine the keys being like you know keys of a vehicle, and then there, you see like the the advertisement of don't drink and drive. Stuff like that. That's what I'm getting at. Milton, the reason why I say that is because I don't find anything absolutely funny with um, people drinking and driving. At all. I don't care if you know people that that do it and they keep getting away with it. I don't care. Just don't ever bring it up again. And just don't tell us to chill regarding that, alright? I don't like getting angry. I don't like bringing up stuff regarding various situations. I just don't want that brought up. Why would we be the officer? Well, that's why I'm like I'm thinking. I was like I'm sure it doesn't really make any sense, but like I, I'm like it's. Part of me is thinking, like, well, you know, maybe it's blurry because he is drunk, but it's like, why are we playing as him? So, this would have been Henning's bed. It's cold to the touch. The guy just told me something is wrong with me. Well, Kawi, that is wrong there, too. I mean, you gotta... What is wrong with you? Okay, you know what? No, hold on. I'm gonna, I'm gonna end this, I'm gonna end this shit right here, right now. Don't, nobody in the damn chat talks about crap about nobody else, and if there's somebody else is talking about a sensitive subject you, that you know damn well is not, um, really good to bring up, then drop it as well. Alright? Simple as that, I just... I'm, I'm not, I'm not gonna fucking just, justify myself regarding this, just... Drop it, everybody. That's it. That's all I'm saying. Just drop it. I don't. I just don't want. I don't want to hear anything about it. I'll just play a game. You look how a glimpse of the room, you guess that's why there's no detail here. Hmm. And this is where we were watching, <laughs> I guess the story's untold. I spent most 
Wait, what? Damn, I missed it. The number puzzles they were doing with us. The Futuro, the freaking house abandoned right there. Flying to Greenland. Yeah, no, the white dot is just always there. Um, no tank. I, I don't know. I guess it's supposed to be the... I think it's just basically like the center of focus, kind of like reticle, I guess, you know. Waiting area is dark, but you feel a presence right behind you. <sighs> I was really afraid of turning around. Someone breathes on your neck standing over you. I hate you, game. I hate you right now. <laughs> I'm like making sure I don't do it in real life. You know, like look to the side of me, look over me, you know. You thought you saw something enter a room. Oh man, I didn't see that, Louisa. <laughs> you feel dread in the pit of your stomach. Okay, we have a 22-year-old male just brought in from a vehicle collision. He was awake and mobile at the scene, but collapsed on arrival to the emergency ward. The other passengers died in the accident. Oh. I'm getting no pulse. Prepare for defib. Amp charge full to 10 and give me 100 joules. This is what he was remembering. Come on, 100 joules. Charge amp full to 10. How many jewels? A hundred? Come on. Clear. No reaction from first stage. Let's try higher. 200 joules. Keep the amp charge to 10. Did I miss it again? What the hell is he saying? 200 joules. 200. Keep the charge at 10. Let's go. Wow. Clear. Okay, we have a reaction of some sort here. A weak signal. Let's keep going. Increase again. 360, charge full. I'm loving how it's all connecting now. Come and the on, signs hurry. The signs were there too. Clear. Well, would you look at that? It seems we have a pulse. Rhythm is stable. We need to run an x-ray right away. Where are we with that x-ray? Let's get it going now, please. You kind of have to remember how to do things, too. Looks like an intracerebral hemorrhage. We need to drain this now to relieve pressure. Prepare for trepanation. And the damn the drill, please. The drill. Mr. Asian. You've made excellent progress. You're doing great. We need you to stay calm and try to relax while we go through these next steps. We're going to attempt to alleviate some of this discomfort. Oh my god. Shaden, welcome to the stream.
Take it on Julius Skull. 2205. Not only is tonight New Year's Eve, but tomorrow you leave on a six month trip abroad with friends. Mom, Dad, and your sister Jennifer have decided to throw a party to celebrate it all. The house is full. You're in the living room, and as usual, you don't recognize the soul. The room is full of charity of chatty strangers, mostly friends of mom and dad. There is a door to the hall. Uh, the doorway is wide open, allowing guests to move freely throughout the house. Uh, leave room. You push through a crowd into the hallway. The hallway is as welcome as ever, only this time the folks have put a great big banner across the main wall. Half-finished drinks are abandoned on almost every horizontal surface. Stairs lead up, almost, uh, although the party is firmly downstairs. Same as ever, stairs, door to the living room, and door to the kitchen. I'm going to go to the kitchen first. They say all the best parties are in the kitchen. The kitchen is full of people and loud. There are drinks and food on the table, and the party is in full swing. Dad has cooked a hog roast, which sits proudly on the table, although no one is eating it. You can assume that's the carcass right there. It looks great! There's a utility room, and writing on the wall. Also, Jen is here signaling you. Um... Happy New Year, 1985, or 6, sorry, on another banner. Weird place to hang it. Utility room door is unlocked. That's odd. Just as you are about to head inside the utility room, Jed places her hand on your shoulder. You hug, you're going to miss each other. You thank her for the party. She asks if you are enjoying the party. You tell her it's great, even though you don't really know anyone. She tells you to enjoy it anyway, and to loosen up. She asks you to give, uh, give her get her a drink. You pour Jen a drink, and one for yourself too. There's never an awkward silence with Jennifer. She's al she always has a question. She asks if you have everything sorted for the big trip. She repeats herself, asking if you are ready for your trip. You tell her yes, that you have packed everything with plenty of room to spare. Another hug. Your family have, have really gone out, their, out of their way to make their, this trip happen for you. It might be what you need to get some perspective, maybe not fuck up so much. She's going to miss you. You're going to miss her. She walks away. Jen has disappeared into the crowd. You're left standing, nodding, and, and smiling at their approving faces. There's so much to do for this move. Can't mess it up. But first, a drink. He was the one who was driving drunk. You pour and down another drink. Anything to move the night along. And notice how our blurry our vision is getting a little bit more blurrier. Or maybe not. Maybe 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 I'm just uh. Maybe I'm just thinking a little. It looks a little blurry, but I don't know. Um. Hold on. Maybe I'm thinking too much here. Hold on. You open the door and peer in. You've never allowed in here normally. This is where Dad keeps his fine wines and whiskeys. Ceiling to floor racks. A collector, although he does not actually drink them too. There's a bottle with a ribbon uh, around it and a card. He 
You pick up the whiskey and the card. It's your dad's handwriting. Son, we're so proud of you and everything you've achieved. You've earned this. It's a bottle of 25-year-old double malt. You shouldn't really, but you have to try it. With your whiskey in hand and the, and you take it in your room, you take it in the room around about you. There must be hundreds and thousands of pounds worth of drink in here. You really must have must have you really must thank your dad for your whiskey. Um hold on a minute. Okay, okay, um my new best friend. Uh, you stumble out of utility room and back into the kitchen. There's one strong whiskey. You take another swig and give the thumbs up to Dad across the room. He nods and winks. He tells you he's proud of you and to go easy tonight. Early flight tomorrow. You go back out to the hallway. A few burps and laughs on the way through and you make it to the hall. You stop dead in your tracks. It's Jen, covered in blood. She's staring straight at you. No one else notices. Blood is dripping down her face. It's mixing with tears. You don't understand. That's not I'm sorry, I don't understand. We tried our best, Mrs. Asian, but her injuries were too severe. No, I don't understand. I was just talking to her. I'm afraid Jennifer passed away before we could get to her in surgery. We did the best we could. I am so sorry. Where is she? Let me see her. Please, Miss Lization, take a seat. I don't want to take a seat. Let me talk to her. Now. I'll arrange for you to see her. In the meantime, James is in recovery. He's stable for now. I don't want to see him. Something had stopped you in your tracks. While searching your mind, your sister interrupts. She waves her hand in front of you and asks if you can drive her home. King Robo Lord, thank you so much for the follow. Definitely appreciate it. Welcome to the community, buddy. She waves her hand in front of you and asks if you can drive her home. Guys, hold on.
All right. <clears throat> she waves her hand in front of you and asks if you can drive her home. You still feel out of sorts. Those words echo. Yeah, yeah, we can talk in the car. Go get your keys. Oh, um. Um. Damn it, I'm in all sorts of confused now. Actually, can we go upstairs? We love to call it a night, but Jenna's waiting patiently. Um, oh, we gotta find the car keys. Oh, um. You're sure your keys are in the living room? The living room has a much more relaxed atmosphere compared to the kitchen. Various guests are sat on the chairs having civilized conversations. There's a coffee table in the middle of the room. Your mom is pouring a drink at the drinks cabinet. She's totally in her element here. She always loved being the host. Drinks on coasters like proper civilized people. Can't see your keys. Um, tears immediately start to appear in her eyes. My son off to America. She gives you a hug. Um, they're not here, huh? Oh. Friends conversation, jackets and coats everywhere. You search through all the jackets and coats until you find yours. Aha! Car keys in the pocket. You grab both. Both. Oh, you can jacket and the key. Keys in hand, you head back into the hall. Jed thanks for helping her out. She has work in the morning and no one else is in is any fit state to drive. You can handle it, though. You know the road like the back of your hand, don't you? Yeah. Oh, I guess we, I, I, I thought we were going to legitimately answer, but I guess not. You open the front door and walk out into the freezing night. The cold air hits you. You're glad you have your jacket with you. There's a dusting of snow around you as you step down from the porch. The yard extends around the back of the house, and the car sits in front of the house. She sighs and comically taps her feet. Apart from the little lights escaping from the party indoors, and the yard is pitch black. You used to love stargazing here. You stumble around the darkness looking for your perfect spot to take in the majesty of the night sky. The trusty old generator is here working away. The sky is majestic. You gaze up at the night sky. For some reason, you don't recognize any of the star patterns tonight. Jennifer looks relieved as you head back around to the front of the house. She needs to get home, but she also wants a final bit of brother and sister time before you leave. Oh. You 
You fumble the car handle, confused, until Jen tells you maybe use the key in your hand. Fumbling with the car keys, you eventually get the door open and climb inside. Car is freezing! As you fumble around with your seatbelt, your sister opens up the car, glo car glove box and hands you a note and the key that was inside. She tells you that's for when you return. It's this. What we're using right now, isn't it? The notes from your dad says, Hi, son. Hope you enjoy your break. You'll need to fire up and degenerate around back. Blah, blah, blah. Car is freezing. Both you and Jen have your seatbelts on and are ready to go. It's time to go. <laughs> the car doesn't move given that the engine isn't actually on. It's like you've never driven before. It takes a number of attempts, but you eventually slot the key into the ignition. You turn the key in the ignition, the car roars to life. The car squeals, but stays stationary. Jen suggests a release and a break, giving you a wide-eyed stare. You very hesitantly release the handbrake. You put the car in gear and pull out of the driveway like a first-time driver. You really shouldn't be driving. You, I, am driving very drunk on a road towards the town where your sister stays. Jen started dozing off as soon as the journey got going. This shouldn't take long. You come to a junction. It's left to right. You can't remember. Damn it all. You didn't stop the car, did you? You should have. You don't want to, but you had better ask Jen for directions. She grunts and throws her arm to the left. It's left. Of course it's left. You turn the car left to the junction and accelerate off. Confident you are on the right road and you, you loosen up a bit and put your foot down on the accelerator. You feel powerful as the engine roars at your command. Jen sits up in her chair and clutches her arm. She asks you to slow down. That's not what really happened though, is it? You're all over the place, James. Pull over. Jen is hitting your arm and yelling at you, crazy sister. Strange. There's a set of headlights coming directly at you, but really slow. Like slow motion. You try to react, but your body isn't responding. There's nothing you can do to stop this. There's no way to control it. James, for fuck's sake, pull over! It was at this very moment, wasn't it, James? The moment you lost it all. Your sister. Your parents. Yourself. And then you made it worse. Go on. Show us what you did. Wake up in the car. The world is upside down. Your seatbelt struggles against gravity, trying to hold you in your seat. An impact into another car has torn a hole into your into the chassis. Poisonous fumes spill into your car from the engine. 
You are in grave danger. You have to get out of there. You can't move. Your seatbelt is still in place. You release yourself from the seat. Uh, gravity takes over as you as you step as you slump on the roof of the car. You squeeze through the wreckage. Fall, damn it, I missed it. Every breath brings pain to your chest. Your head is throbbing. A, a blue car has smashed into the passenger side of your car. Your life cannot be ruined by this. You're standing, holding your whiskey, your dad's note, and flashing lights approaching at a distance. Crash site. Smoke bills from the crashed car to skies above. Exterior lights flickering on and off. Um, I, thought, I thought we could do something with the light there. Um... Blue car smashed the passenger side of the car. You hold on a minute. What car? Um, ah, damn, open the blue door. The door is jammed. You don't have time messing around like this, James. Uh, I'm not even sure what to even type in anymore. Open. I'm not really sure how to further our like our car. Oh my god! I'm sorry, guys. Just not really thinking straight right now. Um, <sighs> Blue car smashed into the passenger side of your car. Your life cannot be ruined by this. God, I know where this is going. I just, why can't I type in what I want? Come on, James, if you drink, now you're going to get this, you're going to get what's coming to you. God. A blue car. What the hell? It's an older man. His body is stumped, stumped, and his face is bloody. Thank you, being sure that suggestion. Um, This whole thing about the other blue car or yours. Wait a minute, the other blue car? 
Open your car door. Open blue car door. Open our blue car door. Get, Will, please give me a hint. Yeah, please. Yeah, go ahead. I, I, I want this to end. I'm obviously missing something very <laughs> stupid here, and um, sometimes with text-based adventure games, you you really need to be kind of exact of cer certain stuff. Um, so, to get rid of the evidence, huh? You can't just toss this away without thinking. They will find it, and they will come to you. Damn. Wouldn't it show in the autopsy he wasn't drunk? That's see, that's why I'm a little confused, Louisa. can't just toss this away without thinking they will find it and they will come to you that's what I'm thinking like give it to the man good as pouring it out going to do James you still have the bottle oh my god <laughs> what do you want me to type a game Put whiskey bottle in other car. Thank God. With the lights approaching closer, you begin to hear the th shrill of the sirens. You simply cannot go to jail for this. You clean the bottle to remove your connection with the whiskey. You then very deliberately spill the remainder of the bottle's contents onto the driver and toss the incriminating evidence onto the passenger seat. A circle of flashing lights surround you, illuminating the craft site in the darkness. Behind them, an army of people all staring. One figure steps out, a silhouette, and walks towards you. Sorry, you're not, yeah, I didn't didn't type that word, did I? Um, I try to talk, but you are missing. You're not making any sense. Um, the red and blue flashing lights are causing you pain. You have your wait. Um, walk. 
fuck. You're not making any sense. I'll leave. Get out. Walk toward the <laughs> Oh my god. Now what? One figure steps out of silhouette and walks towards you. Talk to... Am I spelling it right? Oh. You try to talk, but you're not making any sense. Um, run away. <laughs> Doesn't work. It's doing that thing again. Walk. Oh my god. What the, what the hell is it now? I shouldn't make light of jokes. How did go to figure and walk to figure it in? Oh my god. Go. <laughs> I know you. I know you're tearing yourself apart over it. But no matter what you keep telling yourself, you have to listen to me. That accident. That poor man. Me. You have to remember. It was all your fault. I know what you did. How you left me there to protect yourself. Planting evidence on some poor man. You went headfirst into that officer and wrecked all of our lives. And you couldn't even take responsibility. You did the right thing for you and no one else. Save yourself. Only it was wrong, wasn't it? Look at you now. Utterly consumed by it. Say it, James. It's all my fault. Say it. Tell them. Hold on a minute. No, hold on. Sorry, guys. Listen to yourself. You want me to record me saying it? It has to end, James. Do you not understand? All your episodes, your fourth. Dr. Alexander is always watching remotely, but I don't know if anyone this else is ever with him. This episode you're having must come to an end. Make it stop. Make it stop. Do you remember? Stop the session, the station. How do I stop the session? Oh my god, guys, give me a second. Back to Damn where it. We started. Put an end to this nightmare. Oh crap. You can't do this, James. That, I kept pushing record. I meant to. Go. There we go. Well, I think we've made progress today, Mr. Haitian. I guess we should tell the police what you've told us. Although I don't suspect it'll take you anywhere. I think you'll be with us for quite some time. Come on, let's get you back to your shows. I'll see you tomorrow. The last achievement we got was called Admission.
Number two was Jen. One was the officer. The doctor was 20F. <sighs> okay. Um... Listen, the reason why I have, um, I apologize. I got upset when, the, when they, when we do, when they were mentioning drunk driving and especially everything going on. And like, I don't know if you guys could hear how I was not, I was really holding myself from really holding my emotions back. Uh, because drunk driving is one of the one things that I can't really, um, I can't really tolerate. Um, because, um, Back in high school, I uh, where am I? Uh, a good friend of ours. Uh, just uh, made a stupid choice. Uh, I was not thinking this would turn out there. I think what made it kind of worse in this game was just finding out the dude freaking was covering it up. Try framing somebody else for it. That's really, really sick in this game. I was not expecting that trip at all. I was expecting a... <laughs> I was expecting a really scary game, or at least a very atmospheric game, and, um... It was atmospheric, sure. Um... Really wouldn't say scary, scary, um... But I'm glad I played it. Even if, you know... It, uh... takes people to various trips or whatever, but, um, I'm glad I played it. You say it was really scary to censor people like that. Yeah. Yeah. I agree. Because I still know dumbasses that do it. <laughs> so, this happened, um... 
remember I pulled this is like a couple of years ago um, one of my friends he was completely obliterated and I, I like idiot was getting in the seat <laughs> I literally grabbed the hell out of him and forced him in the car that we were in um It's a stupid thing. It's like, what, you, you don't want to get in a car? Yeah, I mean, you, you don't want to get a call a taxi, get an Uber, get whatever. You just want to get there as quick as possible and putting not only your life in danger, but others in danger. Yeah, my, my friend thanked me afterwards um, for stopping him, but I just don't get it. It will, it will always continue. That's the sad part about it. But, uh, Just sucks. Please don't ever apologize for showing emotions. Thank you very much for your great play playthrough of a great game. I stayed up for it. It's 4.20 a.m. in my part of the world. <laughs> I hope you feel better tomorrow. Thank you, Ralph. Thank you so much for uh, staying up and watching this, man. Um, I greatly appreciate it. All you guys, you know. None of you guys need to be here or you know, but you guys choose to be here to watch me play a game, to watch me show emotion, I guess, regarding this. But, um, I'm still very glad that I, uh, that I, uh, played it. Um, It's all about sewer convenience, yeah? Convenience. Good night, Will. And Thund Thunderboy, thank you so much for the 202 bits. <laughs> I kind of love how the top tier keeps getting raised by one by one by one. <laughs> thank you so much, Thunderboy. I definitely appreciate it. Um, no, the game came out... Um, Ah, damn. I don't know when a game came out, to be quite honest with you, man. A year or two ago, maybe? I think it originally was just one game. Episode one. Um, and then they expanded upon it uh, with each one. So... Oh, it's going insane. Ah, Skinny! Welcome to the stream. Were, were you trying to scare me with that boo? <laughs> Trust me, I, I don't think I can get scared right now. Um, yeah, I, I'm so I'm so sorry, Skinny. Um, uh... You were okay. Um, yeah, I, I, I really wanted as many people here to watch this. Um, just watch a scary stream. I knew, I knew you were busy today and everything. Um, but I kind of wish that, yeah, you were, you were able to see this because uh, <laughs> did it wreck me? Um, yeah. <laughs> it wrecked us all. Um, 
And trust me, I, I, I want to tell you why, but at the same time, I want you to, um, I think I want you to, uh, see this for yourself in a sense. Um, because the reason why I wrecked me is, um, Gives them a huge portion of the game, you know. Um, you're gonna head out. Try to apologize, but it's been eaten by a chat. It's uh, milk tank. It's totally okay. I mean, apology accepted. And I apologize if I snapped. Um, all's good. All's good. Uh, I'll see you next time. Have a good night. Okay, Skinny. Uh, you're sorry for not crying, Pharaoh, but I'm so shocked. That you, you, nobody has to apologize for not showing. Subscription. Good. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry, the subscription thing made me laugh. Oh, it just was funny. <laughs> After all of this. Uh smooth. <laughs> Thank you so much. <laughs> I think it was my delivery on a subscription. Shout. <laughs> uh, but thank you so much. Um for the subscription, man. And now you can use your Pharaoh Facebook <laughs> emote. <laughs> no, man, I needed that, man. You, you did not ruin the mood at all. I think we needed that. Uh, <laughs> uh, I'm happy you know you like your subscription thing. Thank you, Skinny. Yeah, I, I really like it. Um... Maybe eventually I can personalize a little bit more. I probably want to get like all um, all personalized follower hosting subscription type of thing. I'll I'll get to it eventually. Um, but that was funny. Um, <laughs> you remind me of that one scene from Final Fantasy X. Uh, what, you mean the really bad, awkward laugh that was on purpose? Apparently a lot of people don't understand that that laugh was on purpose. And the freaking voice actor, James Arnold Taylor, had to personally tell people, like, he made a video. He's like, guys, he's like, that was intentional. That's what the director wanted. So, yeah. Thank you, Bing. So yeah, that's the face palm emote. Uh, that's one of the drawings that um, that Dragon did, and I'm like, oh, it's like we gotta do that. You're a boss of three badges. Hell yeah, man! <laughs> All right, Gino. All right, thank you so much for coming out, man. Definitely appreciate it. Um, man. Now, hold on, really quick, guys. Um, okay. Just checking something there. Uh, oh, you. Uh, I was saying, Dragon. Uh, you did the emotes for my subscription emote. Uh, you were at the club last night, Dragon. Baseball. Why people bash that because the delivery is weird. Well, you know, yeah, it is. You know, that's the reason why people bash it. But it's like it's like that's how it was supposed to be. But people people like to complain. That's it. They people just want to complain about crap. So that's it. Were you still gonna stream uh, Layers of Fear this month? I hope so, Slayer. 
Um, there's a couple of games I want to cover. It's uh, uh, it was Layers of Fear, uh, Alien Isolation, The Evil Within, this game. Um, don't know what else, but obviously because it's like it's already the 19th of October. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to really stream any of those big name games. Uh, I'll try, but maybe I'll play some scary games into November as well because you know I started so damn late. Oh yeah, Dragon, I saw that. Yeah, like I was I was really happy when I read that. It looks like you had a lot of fun, you know, and I was happy that you were able to just really enjoy yourself. And I saw I'm sorry, I saw the picture, I didn't say anything, I'm sorry. I was I was I was doing work. But um yeah, that um what was it called the Wrath of Anubis or whatever of Anubis? That was insane. Did it take you long to solve that room or no? Uh, Colad is another game you've been wanting to try. I've seen that game, yeah. I think I saw, like, a Markiplier maybe play it. Um, I don't think it's something I would personally do. But, yeah. You're gonna abuse the hell out of this emote every chance I get. Just, anytime you do anything stupid, man, just spam it. Just spam it. Or you can use it on other, ch other rooms, I guess, if you want other chat rooms and like hey who's that guy you saw mullet mike from sticky paddle cover it on creepy gaming oh okay the first one we understood but something was up with the puzzles so it was more of getting it to work gotcha gotcha And thank you, Skinny, for the uh, prime command there. You know, hint, hint, wink, wink, nudge, nudge. <laughs> I think that's what I think that's what smooth did. <laughs> um, but if you guys haven't already, uh, see, there's there's a lot of streamers here. How about this for the people who stream on this or stream somewhat regularly um, on Twitch? Go ahead and. Uh, give yourselves a follow command type in follow explanation explanation mark follow space and then your name your twitch name to plug yourself and your awesome channels um because there, there's a lot of streamers out here and it's like i feel like a lot of you guys need to be you know get uh need to um have followers too so, <laughs> six thousand. Well, yeah, it looks like the Cubs are done for, unfortunately. Yeah, but you know, we we gave our all. So, Oh, link with without the uh, without the underscore. It's a space. It's an actual space, not not like an underscore. Literal backside of gaming field by accident because I was about to be ambushed by zombies breaking the barrier. Oh yeah, yeah, I saw you mention that. Oh my god. Uh oh. See try try using that. The, the issue is um the Falcon like the commands they work they have like a five second cooldown, so try now link. And Chewy, that's still I got I got I don't know why the hell I don't have that one yet. I gotta make a confetti command. There's a few commands I need to make. The thing is, you tried, Binks. You tried. Okay, guys. Um, one day. One day. 
Chewy. And damn, Link, you gotta try again. You're doing it right to what somebody else is doing is, so the cooldown is an, is an effect. Um, I can imagine Slayer. It's an, it's an awesome feeling, man. If Cubs can't make it, then let's go for LA, man. All right, guys. I think I'm gonna go ahead and call it. I need to um, I need to eat. A little bit. Um, that's cool. How come it didn't work that time around? Time link. Huh. You'll get it down. Um. But yeah, I I need to eat. I need to relax. I need to like, just. I need to like relax from this game. Let's see, it worked for Slayer. That's weird. How come it's not working for you, Link? It didn't even say unknown Twitch command. It said just it didn't fire off. Huh. No problem, Skinny. Um, I hope you'll enjoy it uh, when you watch it next time. Thanks, guys. Yeah, I, I will get better. Um, I'm going to take some money to eat and take some medicine. Thanks for stream. Watch some anime and cheer up. <laughs> I guess I could. Uh, maybe I can watch uh, something to cheer me up. Well, thank you all so much for coming out. Definitely appreciate it. I love you all so much. And stay tuned for more spoopy games. Uh, maybe in the next couple days. Maybe next week. We'll see. Have a good night, everybody.